If you were driving or walking on Euclid Avenue today, you might have noticed something a little different. RTA just rolled out its new fleet of updated buses. The Health Line is already credited with helping spark new development up and down the east side. News 5's Kevin Berry takes us on board now to see how the new buses will do that even more. The Health Line's six and a half miles has seen a lot of change in the last few months, with millions of dollars in new development breaking ground during the pandemic. I get to meet people from all walks of life. One of the few things not changing is 22-year RTA employee Mark Campbell, even if the buses he drives now have a new look inside and out. It's very smooth. It's, it's not as bumpy as the other Health Line was. It's really solid. It's very quiet. Those new buses that RTA rolled out to pick up customers on Monday has that new wrap on the outside, but it also has a long list of COVID inspired updates like plastic seats that are easy to clean, a plastic door to cover drivers when passengers enter and hand sanitizer at every door. It gives us a safety net to know, hey, if they sneeze, we'll be OK, you know, come on aboard. RTA District Director Nicholas Bigger says additional upgrades like new stroller and bike storage in the bus, 360 degree 4K HD security cameras and screens on the bus show riders where the route goes and when they'll get to their next stop. I think if you look at the Euclid corridor, uh, it was a tremendous success story, not only just for RTA, but also for the city of Cleveland as a whole. Pre-pandemic estimates say the health line sparked nearly $10 billion of investment along the Euclid corridor. That doesn't include the hundreds of new apartments near downtown that recently opened up and the hundreds more being built right now in Jeff Epstein's Midtown neighborhood. The health line is absolutely catalytic uh, to everything that's going on in Midtown today. New, safer buses, Jeff says, will only help continue that momentum. And leverage the, the transit investment to attract a really diverse set of developments that I think is, is really serving the entire community. And building that community that eventually will meet Mark. I have a lot of rapport with a lot of people up and down Euclid. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. They look sharp, and get this, the new buses will also be able to change traffic lights as they approach the intersection. That makes it faster for buses to travel up and down Euclid. Transit advocates have complained in the past that that feature hasn't been turned on for existing buses. RTA tells News 5, though, it is active right now and will be for the new buses as well.